So this next micro lecture is on what is weight. So last time we talked about what mass isn't and therefore looked at what mass is and now we're going to compare it directly to weight. Three or more bullet points worth of notes. You need a one two sentence summary and your follow up questions on Google Forms. So weight. Weight is a force due to gravity. So what that means is it's an actual push or pull. So in other words, it's the feeling of the pull of gravity. Um, it measures how heavy something is. So in this case, um, it is what makes something feel heavy. And so we're just going to say weight is heaviness in that sense. It's different than mass because mass here we have something that is uh, resistant to push or pull, whereas a weight of something is its actual like pull on it due to gravity. And I'll help clarify that as we go through this. So weight is not the same thing as acceleration due to gravity. So the acceleration um, for everything due to gravity is the same. The weight of different things is not the same. So some things are heavier, some things are lighter, even though they're all accelerated at the same rate due to gravity. So again, a force is a push or a pull, which means it exists even if something isn't moving. Whereas if we have, uh, let's say, the acceleration due to gravity, um, something is either accelerating or it's not. And if it's accelerating, then if it's not moving right now, it's going to be moving in a moment. Whereas weights, we've got the weight of these peaches. It's pushing down on the scale here, but the peaches aren't moving and they're not going to begin to move at any point. So although gravity is acting on them, it's not able to actually accelerate them, like physically move them, um, but it still attributes a weight to it. So it pulls down on them and that is what the weight is. So the pull of weight is still felt even if there is no movement. Whereas in order for something to be accelerating at the rate of gravity, it has to eventually be moving at some point. So I told you before we're going to do this comparison and we're going to do it now, which is mass is not weight. So if they're not the same, then how are they different? Well, first, let's review what volume is. Volume is how much space something takes up. Uh, it's variable is V measured in liters or uh, milliliters or cubic centimeters or cubic meters. Mass is how much matter or stuff is in something. Uh, it's variable is M and it's measured in kilograms or grams or milligrams. And weight, it's variable is W and it's measured in newtons. Uh, in the scientific kind of community, that's what it's measured in. However, if we went to imperial units, we usually every day measure this in pounds. So the equivalent to a pound is a newton in metric system. And it really is how much gravity is pulling down on something. So it's a push or pull, so therefore it's a force. So for further comparison, Mass, just to let you know, is a scalar. It doesn't have a direction. Uh, it simply has a magnitude, whereas weight has both a magnitude and a direction. The weight of something is always directed down because gravity always pulls things down, or at least towards the center of the object, which is usually down. Mass is the amount of matter or stuff in an object, whereas gravity is how much, or sorry, weight is how much gravity pulls down on that matter. So the weight is the force on the matter, whereas the mass is just how much matter there is. Some examples, 1 gram, 200 milligrams, 20 kilograms, those are all examples of mass over here. Some examples of weight are 1 pound, um, the direction would be downwards, or 20 newtons, again the direction is downwards, or 200 newtons, and you can just draw an arrow to show that it's downwards. One last thing. Um, mass is not affected by gravity. So what we get here is this idea that the mass is going to be the same on the moon as it is um, on Earth or in deep outer space away from planets, whereas weight is affected by gravity. If there is no gravity, there is no weight. And we'll get into that exact relationship later on. So this would be the difference between heaviness, which maybe depends on how much gravity there is, versus uh, heftiness or resistance to kind of changes in motion which is actually independent of gravity. So it'd still be much harder to push a large rock um, in outer space way away from uh, all gravitational pull than it would be to push a small rock, uh, even though they technically would both have the same weight of zero if there's no gravity. That's it for this one. Three or more bullet points worth of notes, one to two sentence summary, and your follow-up questions on Google Forms.